Welcome to Busy Center Launch Event 2025 release Wave 1. In this session, I will show you all uh, localization related to electronic documents we deliver in this wave. Before I start, I just want to remind you how we are working with localization at all. So, what we have, we have Base App, and on this Base App, we added new app, Electronic Documents Core. And with this eDocument Core, we are planning, we planned actually to cover 80, 90, even more, per, more percent of all these features. On the top of that, we added different connectors, because connectors can be different. You can use one of them, or you cannot, maybe you do not want to use connectors at all. So this is on you, what you want to use. Do you want to use only core without connectors, or you want to choose one of these connectors? And then, on the top of that, we added Apple B3 format as a global format, and this format is available in all countries, so in all our localizations. This is what we have by default everywhere. But then, we have different localization apps on top of that. I will focus on three new we delivered this wave, and this is first Fatura E in Spain, Xtrek Nung in Germany, and Paypal, Pint, ANZ in Australia New Zealand. What you can do more if we do not have Microsoft localization in some of your countries, you can build your own localization on top of this functionality the same way as Microsoft is doing, because we do not do anything different from what we expect from other partners to deliver from their side. Okay, let's look what we delivered. So I already show you. Now, what you can find, you can find all these three apps on App Source. They are already there but by default, they are pre-installed in your localization. So when you open, for example, Australia localization, you will find already installed e-document format for Pint and Z. E, the same in Germany for Exechnung and uh, Factura E in Spain. So they're there by default, but if you accidentally remove or whatever, you can find all of them on App Source that you can install again. Okay, let's look deeper what is there. First, in electronic documents in Germany, we have supported two types of files, Paypal B3 and Xrechnung UBL. This is currently supported in Germany. And what do you need to do when you open your electronic document service, assuming that you already have this uh, app installed, you will find in um, document format, you will have Xrechnung or Paypal format, so you just need to choose one of them, and that's it. Related to format, that's it. But related to localization, there are some additional things there. We have by reference mandatory field. In Germany, this is in general required to have by reference mandatory, so we just wanted to support you to make this easier to keep this field mandatory because in some localization, this is not required to have by default. So you just need to turn on and you cannot post document without uh, by reference mandatory. But one step more, because in general, you need to fill in uh, by reference on documents, but as there is situation that in Germany, especially you have uh, specific uh, references for customers, we added new functionality. So now you can choose by reference as a first option, your reference, that means one from a document header, or customer reference, this is a reference configured on a customer card. So there is new field in German localization on customer card, for reference, if you have reference there, you just need to say, okay, from where I want to collect uh, references when I create new document. And that's it. All other things are business as usual, so there is no differences. You can send, you can receive documents without any problem. Now, let's switch to Spanish functionality. In Spain, we have Fatura E uh, supported format. And again, very similar. Yes, even I didn't mention Paypal. Paypal is there by default, so Paypal is uh, available in all localizations because this is by the default format in uh, Busy Central. But you can find Fatura A322 uh, version. So this is there, format is ready, and there is no any additional speci uh, specific uh, configuration you need to make a service. Only one specific uh, thing when you are working with uh, Spanish electronic invoicing is related with uh, credit memos. When you are working sales credit memo, you need to fill in Factura E reason code. You will find in credit memo details uh, fast tab this field, so you must choose this one. You will find all these options, so you must choose one of these options because they are required by the law in your sales credit memos. So this is only one specific 
additional specific related uh, to Spanish electronic invoices. All other things, uh, how we are preparing files and so on, you can find on our official documentation. And the last one, he documents in Australia and New Zealand. As I said, Paypal Pint and Z, because Paypal Pint is a new format. Uh, in Australia, it will be mandatory from uh, May. You could uh, use earlier, but this is now new format and we wanted to be proactive to deliver the newest format uh, uh, in all countries where this is required. And this time, this is much easier to set up because there is no specific situation in Australia and New Zealand. You just need to choose which format you want to use. Actually, you must use, but uh, in some situation, maybe you want to deliver a PayPal BC in some other, to some other uh, customers, but in general, you need to set up uh, to your service PayPal ANZ, and you can choose any of uh, service integrations available in this moment. We have another session about new connectors. So in this moment, there are four, new, uh, four connectors at all. You can choose one of them, and you can use them without any problem. So now, from this wave, e-documents are officially available in Business Central in Australia in New Zealand. This is what we have about localizations. I just wanted to show one uh, additional thing about localization. This is not directly related with localization because this is technical improvements, but it will have repercussion on uh, localizations. So what is coming? Uh, with this wave, we deliver availability to handle the PDF-A formats. So some of electronic document formats are in PDF-A uh, format, so we couldn't handle it earlier, but now with this wave, we deliver platform support and we will continue to work in enabling PDF-A formats in some other countries. So that's it about localization. I'm inviting you to watch another sessions related to electronic documents because there are a lot of new features uh, in this uh, wave. Please watch some of them because we have six different sessions in this PC uh, busy uh, lunch event. And Yes, on the end, thank you for watching this video.